How is the Bible misogynist? <laughs> Wait, is that a serious question? Uh, how is it not? <laughs> Did you read it? One of the foundations of the book is that a woman is the reason for all of the suffering of humanity. It's not like that was a one-off story and it's like, whatever, nobody cares. No, they bring that up again, like for misogyny. Let a woman learn quietly and with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach nor hold authority over a man. Rather, she is to be quiet. For it was Adam who was created first and then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. It was Eve who was deceived and became a transgressor. That is the Apostle Paul speaking on behalf of God, talking about who should be allowed to teach the gospel. We got women pastors, but according to the Bible, they shouldn't even be in the conversation. I'm going to just fire off misogynist verses from the Bible. I could do that shit all day. I could max out this video just doing that. What about the time an angry mob showed up to try to grape a couple of angels and Lot, who was referred to as a righteous man, said, hey, don't grape these angels Great my virgin daughters instead. What about the time Lot's wife got turned into salt? Literal salt. For what? For looking back while running away. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. You know, because women are property, like donkeys. If a man seduces a virgin and she is not betrothed, he must pay the bride price and then take her as his wife. If the father won't give her to him, you know, because she's property, he still has to pay him the bride price. Just whatever the going price for virgins is these days. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. A lot of women died from that one. Like thousands. According to the Bible, women are unclean after childbirth and need to go through a purification ritual to cleanse themselves. If her baby is male, she is unclean for seven days and has to go through a 33-day purification. However, if the baby is born female, she is unclean for 14 days and has to go through a 66-day purification ritual because female babies are twice as unclean as male babies. I cannot believe you asked me how this book is misogynist. Should we keep going? I can keep going. We're only like three chapters in. We're just in Leviticus. Women on their periods, unclean. Anything that they touch is unclean. Anyone who touches anything that they touch is unclean. If a priest's daughter becomes a prostitute, burn her alive. If a man makes a vow, he is expected to keep that vow. Women can't make vows unless their husband or their father allows them to make a vow because women were property. Am I stressing this enough? Is it, is it getting through or no? If you're at war and you have some captives as a result of a battle and you find one of them cute, just take her. She's your wife now. You can do that. If a man marries a woman and he suspects that his wife was not a virgin when they got married, he can make that accusation. And if they can't provide proof like bloody bed sheets or something to prove that she was a virgin, the punishment is her being stoned to death. If a betrothed virgin is graped in the city and she doesn't scream out loud enough, the punishment is being stoned to death. This is God's book. God's book. I need y'all to hear me right now. If a man grapes an unbetrothed virgin, he must pay the father 50 shekels of silver and then he has to marry her because she is his property now. If two men are fighting and the wife interrupts them or tries to stop it and she accidentally or on purpose grabs one of the men's junk, cut off her hand. I haven't even talked about all the concubines. Men could have concubines. Women couldn't do that shit. I haven't talked about the reoccurring themes of women's subservience, submissiveness, none of it. Matter of fact, let's jump into the New Testament. We haven't really gone in on Paul. Paul, one of the apostles, was arguably the first recorded incel. Raging misogynist. Here's some quotes credited to Paul. If a woman refuses to cover her head in church, shave her head. A man is the image and glory of God. A woman is the glory of man. The man wasn't created for the woman. The woman was created for the man. Women must submit to their man in everything as though he were Christ. Teach young women to be obedient to their husbands. These are all verses in the Bible, all of them. You cannot read this book and not call it misogynist. You can't. I'm not saying don't follow the Bible. I'm just saying know what's in it. You should know that the Bible says that on this planet that we are currently on today, there were talking animals, giants, they were called the Nephilim, look them up, 
and a multi-headed fire-breathing dragon called the Leviathan. It's a massive sea serpent that's referenced several times. You should know what's in the book. Know what's in the book. I know it's a dry read. The, the authors did not cook with this one. The plot is not plotting the rising and falling actions all over the place. Half the Old Testament is just God telling people what to do and then just killing anyone who doesn't listen. The real merciful shit was going down in the Old Testament. But you should know better than I do. You shouldn't be asking me how the book's misogynist. How is it not? Ah, y'all, you're, you're making me hot. Fuck. I will see you in the next video. I'm fucking sweating.